How are we guys? Listen, just a little video today. Um, and I've noticed a lot of people moaning in my group and uh, my WhatsApp group, but also on like social media and stuff like that, and of how quiet it is. Now, I don't know if you're aware of how Ramadan does affect Uber, but before I go into that video, uh, for this video, I just want to mention, I don't know if you've seen it, but last year, I actually attempted Ramadan and um, with the help of a couple of my uh, Muslim mates, and they were guiding me, and I still failed it was so hard so big respect to all uh, the people taking part in ramadan and obviously obviously um hopefully you all do it well you smash it anyway you're used to it aren't you me i tried the last year watch that video guys just search driver matty does ramadan <laughs> google it on youtube honestly it's so hard because people think like you don't during the daylight hours um it's not only that you don't eat which is fasting you don't drink so like you wake up like early morning, half six when it, when the sun's out. You don't drink or eat till sundown. It is hard graft, guys. Go and check out that video. But the main point of this video, right, is to see on how Ramadan affects Uber. Now, I know a large population of Uber drivers are Muslims. Um, no idea why it's like that, but that's just it's fact. Um, and when Ramadan is on. Uh, you fast during the day and then overnight um, this is what I've been told by the few uh, the Muslim lads that I know is like when it's sundown that's when you can drink you can eat and you celebrate and you like party you're a party you know what I mean but you celebrate and have meals together and family get togethers and stuff like that and then during the day um, you work so normally just say 50% uh, a Muslims work the day, 50% work the evening and the night. During Ramadan, there's a high chance that the night drivers and the evening drivers will be working days. So during this festive month, festive, is that correct, festive? Is it classed as a holiday? I'm not too sure. I do apologise if I've offended anyone. Festive? Is that festive sounds? It doesn't sound like festive, it's not like Christmas. Or something. But anyway, uh, this month, the uh, celebration... Um, evenings and nights Technically when the sun is gone Uber will be busier When the sun is up Uber will be quieter guys It was funny Because I went out this morning And I totally forgot And I went out And it was like five Ah five I went out No I ended up going out to six Sorry And in the first hour It was a bit quiet On 17 quid The next hour I'd done seven quid And that's during the morning rush hour And what was funny One of the lads went out At 5am and work till 7 a.m. because she has to go home and show the kids out. Five till six when it was dark, he done 32 quid. And from six till seven, he done like six quid. <laughs> like it's crazy. And like soon as the sun rises, the work just disappears. Because obviously I've always told you in the past with the balance. The balance of passengers and drivers. And there's gotta be gotta be an equilibrium of passengers and drivers for it to work. So it could be the quietest day ever on Wednesday afternoon. But if that balance is off in any way, it could be the busiest day or the quietest day. Do you know what I mean? That's why sometimes New Year's Eve can be the quietest day, even though it's meant to be the busiest, because there's that many drivers working, thinking it's going to be awesome, makes it quiet. Do you get me? So it's all about the balance. It's not always about it's going to be the busiest day. Uh, and at the moment, now for the next month, I can more or less guarantee now the days will be a lot quieter than the evenings and the nights. And I'm only making people aware because obviously I know a lot of people need the endo out there, do you know what I mean? And myself personally, if you are a non-Muslim, I will try and push towards evenings and night work just for the next month. And then that will also bring the equilibrium back down, get it back back to level. If a lot of day workers start working evenings, to balance it out a bit. Um, but yeah, generally, that's just the way Ramadan goes. Um, yeah, and that's it guys, that's a whole point of my video. <laughs> I've just, uh, just shot up to my son now to get through the school run. And I uh, thought it'd be an interesting video. Just because as well, a lot of people I can see moaning about how dead it is. And that's the reason why. Or one of the reasons, obviously we all know it's generally dead anyway. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you think that is correct what I'm saying or incorrect. Or do you think that um, it'll be busier of a day and not of a night. Myself personally, my, my experience and what I've spoke to people. It's a lot quieter during the daylight hours because it's easier to fast and forget about it when you're working and you're just distracted, dehydrated. 
And then obviously you go home, and then obviously you have a drink, water, food, stuff like that, and a little uh, little rave. I don't know if you do have a rave, because obviously I know, I know you don't drink, but um, yeah. Right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, follow, and all that jazz, as per usual. And let me know in the comments if I'm if I've hit the nail on the head or I'm way off. Because as you know, guys, I just share my opinion on my channel because it is my channel. It is not fact. It is not fiction. It's just my opinion. I may be wrong sometimes, more or less. I, sometimes I always am. <laughs> but check out that video from last year. Driver Matty does Ramadan. It's a funny video, you know. And um, yeah, I did try me, me best. I did try my best. Right, that's it, guys. Catch us all later. See you soon.